Hello everyone and how is everyone doing? So I'm going to talk about some of the useless bosses that basically need a whole new shape to them. Um, I'm going to start off with the King Black Dragon. Now that's north of the monastery and that's pretty much one of the most useless bosses in the game along with another one that I'm going to show you later on. So the easiest way to get here is just using this artifact once you are in or before you go in which is advised quickly drink the the potion and surprisingly there's actually someone else here so if I don't know why there's someone else here this is one of the most useless bosses there is here we go so the money making factor to this is that it's completely useless um, it's a very easy kill. You should be getting around 150 to around 200k XP per hour. And the experience is pretty good to be honest for what it is. But the drops are completely useless. You should be getting around 500k per hour. Um, that does include the chances of getting a Draconic Visage. But um, overall, this is one of the most useless bosses in the game. There isn't much to be obtained. Before you could obtain those kits for the dragon armor that were like 20 million and stuff like that. But nowadays, they are useless. And pretty much, I don't even suggest killing this unless you're here for the experience. Um, the experience does depend on the speed of your kills and the armor. The fastest possible, of course, is around 200k xp per hour you shouldn't really be getting much more than that um, compared to the speed of kills the faster your kills of course the more experience you get but when full drygors and torba and items like that and um, you should be getting around 200k xp per hour um, as you can see it took me maybe a minute to kill and i did get a few drops but even though you pick up these drops and it's very close to the bank it's still not worth you camping. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even come here if I wasn't even making a video. It's such a waste of time. One of the most useless bosses though in the whole game is the giant mole. I'm going to show you exactly where that is. We're just going to travel to Falador. And we'll get there in no time. But yeah, I just want to talk about some of the useless bosses that need changing. The Kingback Dragon definitely needs a new rare item to be dropped. Um, if there's no new rare item, this is completely a useless boss. There isn't anything to do in the King Black Dragon at all. It's very easy to solo, so I think give it a new drop and also allow it to get a bit different tactics in killing. It's just so easy and so boring and overall it's just a, a useless, useless boss. Oh, I, before going to the giant mole, just don't forget a light source. Um, I forgot myself. If you are looking for a bit of money, you're best going off to the God Wars dungeon. And even though it might take a bit longer to get prepared, um, honestly, it's worth your time. And about my password, don't worry about that. There's no problem. I change it often. Um, so yeah, don't forget to bring a, a light source. And we'll just go down and I'll show you how boring and useless this boss is. Okay, once we're down, you basically just have to look on your minimap for a yellow dot. I'm not sure where he is or how we're going to get there. But he can be anywhere. He's over there. There he is. Apparently this giant mole is getting a whole new rework soon. They're changing it to look a bit more awesome. So I think maybe in the future it will get a few changes. You don't need really any armors or any food for this boss. It's so easy, so simple. His hits are very low. Um, he can't be basically stunned because he, he has to dig under. So that's one of his protections. If you can, try and get the most hits you can. He's not bad to kill actually, he's pretty fast to kill but once he starts digging under he gets really boring and really tiresome so you can't really stay here for 10-15 hours without 
dying. So as you can see, this is a pretty much a whole useless boss. The best drop that the King Black Dragon can give is 1.2 million. And that is the Draconic Visage. And the chance of getting that is in 1 in 4,000 kills. For the Giant Mole, it's pretty much um, 40k you can get. That's the best drop. Okay, he's gone that way because my Steel Titan went that way before coming back to me. But yeah, it's pretty useless. You, your best drop is 40k and the chances of getting that 40k is pretty rare. The only thing I, I would encourage to do the Giant Mole for is the Effigy. The Effigy is actually just a rare drop. It's not a very rare, it's just rare. So you might get your hands on a good Effigy, um, but the chances are pretty low to be honest. Usually a rare drop, it's maybe 1 in 200 or 300 kills. A very rare drop could be anything from just like 500 to 5000. Um, so yeah, it's really depending on the sort of loot you do get. But as you can see, I've been here for about 2 minutes now and I haven't killed it. And it, it's just digging everywhere. If you have got your Falador Elite Shield, make sure you use it. That will help you out so much. Um, if you haven't got it, before coming here, get it. It will help you so much. It will tell you the direction it is in. And that will basically just be the most useful item here. But this was just to talk about some useless bosses. There are loads of other bosses that are very useless. Um, but these are probably much the most useless ones you can find in the whole game. There isn't any good drops from them at all. And when you do get a drop, you've taken about 4 or 5 hours to get that drop. And you work it out and it's one of the worst monies in the game. The experience isn't good either. Um, so it's useless. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, it was just basically just to talk about some bosses. Um, I know that some of you like bossing and for some reason these are actually called bosses. I know that for some of you these are very hard, um, so I do respect that. But um, these are just pathetically easy. Um, it's unbelievable. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have got any questions or you wanted to talk about something else, um, I would love to talk about it. Someone posted in my channel, why don't you just talk about some useless bosses and I said okay, I haven't got anything else to do, might as well just do that. So thanks to whoever posted that. I did enjoy making this video, um, mainly because I've never been here in such a long time. I haven't been to the Giant Mole in a year, two years maybe. So I was curious to find out um, how he's doing basically, how they're both doing. And it turns out they are still doing pretty well. I was so surprised to see someone in the King Black Dragon. Now honestly, I was not expecting that. I was expecting something like being empty in every world, but surprisingly there was someone there. Maybe he was just trying out a few kills. He didn't look that prepared with a polypore stuff. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. And if you do want to help me out, don't forget to share any of my videos with your friends. It doesn't have to be this video, it can be any video. It's just to encourage people to visit my channel um, and hopefully to get more subscribers. Because once I get more subscribers, I can do loads more things. Um, because I just hate spending money and only get like 100 views. Um, but if I do get loads more views, I do en encourage to get better stuff. Like I'm wearing Torba. That is something I do not ever wear. Like, um, this is the first time I've actually worn Torva in a video. So, as you can see, I do get encouraged by having greater audiences. I do remember the day when I started making off my videos. Um, I think it was almost a year ago now. Um, yeah, it was definitely a year ago. Maybe a year and a half now. Um, so, it was a very long time. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or even any tips, don't forget to post below. And I'll see you all soon.